kind of delivered uh, I had to be an interviewer uh, for graduate students, uh, they're shifting towards not just interviews, but presentations. More and more, they're expecting you to deliver a presentation in your interview. Okay, so this is uh, it's very, very important that you learn some of these techniques as well. We will go over some of the breathing techniques a little bit later on if we have time, okay? And this will help, to, help you to relax before you need to perform. And then lastly, 10%, the last 10% is your mental state. A mental state meaning if you're tired or if you're agitated, angry, if you had a bad day or what have you, okay? 10%. So basically 75% your preparation, 15% relaxation breathing techniques, and then 10% your mental state. So you can reduce your nervousness by 100% if you use these uh, techniques now. We will now go into eight tips that will help reduce speech anxiety. So I'm gonna go through eight tips for you that will help to reduce this anxiety. First of all, seize the opportunity. Okay, have you heard this expression before, seize the opportunity? Yes? Where have you heard this expression before, seize the opportunity? Okay, uh, you guys heard it in uh, Latin, I believe it is. Carpe diem, yes, okay. Seize the opportunity. What I mean by this is that whenever you have an opportunity to speak in public, to deliver a presentation, or to speak out in class, take that opportunity, seize it. If you take that opportunity, the more you take these opportunities to speak in public, the more confident you'll become in speaking. So this is, uh, if you notice the best speakers, they always seize the opportunity. You can even uh, take these opportunities in class, uh, you know, participating in class, or if you are part of a, a club, say that you want to be a leader, and then you have these opportunities to speak in front of a group. Okay, so take every opportunity you can to, uh, to speak in public. Next is use the as if Principle, as if. Okay, this is the uh, conditional mood. Okay, uh, basically, as if. So, behave, act, talk, speak, dress as if you are a professional speaker, a, a, a great presenter. Dress like one, think like one, talk like one, act like one, behave like one. When you do this, slowly and eventually, you will become like one. Uh, this is for anything, not just speaking, but uh, if you want to become uh, a good, for example, athlete, a basketball player, for example. You act like one, you behave like one, you will become like one. Okay, so this is the as-if principle. Use this principle and it will help you as well. Next, realize that you are the expert. What I mean by this is that if somebody asks you to deliver some kind of presentation or speech, most likely they've asked you because you're an expert in this field. You have some kind of knowledge. So you are technically an expert. You can draw from this, you can draw confidence from the fact that someone has asked you to deliver a presentation, and as a result, you can become more confident. Next, meet your audience before you present. Okay, this might be very difficult in some of your classes, but later on in the future, when you become a, pro a professional presenter uh, for a company, for example, or maybe for the government, uh, what you can do is come around 10, 15 minutes before your presentation, stand at the door, and as people walk in, you can greet them. And say, hi, what's your name? And, and, and talk to them for a little bit, and get to know them a little bit, and this will help to reduce your nervousness. In addition to that, uh, they, will turn not, uh, they will turn from stranger to friends, and pretty soon, uh, everyone in your audience will be friends, and is it easier to speak to strangers or to friends? Yeah, friends, yeah. So definitely your, your nervousness will decrease as a result. Next, visualize your success. Okay, visualization techniques, I'm sure many of you guys have heard of it. Many athletes use visualization techniques. They, they visualize themselves succeeding and winning and doing well in the performance. And uh, according to studies, and I've read many studies, when you use these visualization techniques, it helps to improve your performance in anything, whether it be uh, in sport or in, uh, if you're performing like a, uh, a violin, if you're a violinist or a pianist, or if you're delivering a speech. If you visualize success, uh, this will help you to succeed. So when you come up, 
uh, I mean, uh, pretend before you come up that uh, you are going to succeed. The audience is happy to see you. They're clapping. They're enjoying your speech. You're speaking professionally. You're speaking with confidence. Visualize all these things. And pretty soon, when you come up and you have to deliver your presentation, you will do it very successfully. Next one. Make anxiety your friend. Okay? Make anxiety your friend. Your, your anxiety is not necessarily a bad thing. It can be your friend as well. So what, I would, uh, what you need to do is think positively about anxiety. Sometimes people, uh, when they feel that they're nervous, they become more nervous. Just the feeling of nervous makes them more nervous, and then it becomes this downward spiral, and then they, they fail. Uh, when, you're, when you feel nervous, go, ah, oh, this is a good thing. This will make me more passionate about what I have to say. I can, I can harness this energy, this nervous energy, and make me speak more powerfully, and um, uh, more professionally as well. Next one. Uh, number seven, I have to emphasize this again. Rehearse, rehearse, and rehearse some more. Very important that you rehearse as much as you can. The more you rehearse, the better. It'll help you to internalize your message so that you don't have to rely on your notes, and it will help you to prevent any mistakes that, uh, you could, uh, that, uh, that might occur in the future. All right, and then lastly, realize that your audience wants you to succeed. Okay? Do never think that your audience is your enemy. Your audience wants you to succeed, right? right? You want me to succeed too, do you not? Okay. <laughs> How many of you want to hear a bad, bad presentation? Today, I, I, I came to hear a bad presentation. I came to you know, sit in a bad presentation. None of you. You all want me to do very well. You came here to hear a good presentation. So that's why you have to realize that your audience wants you to succeed. They're there, uh, they're like your team members. They want you to do well. Okay? So if you realize these eight things, you will uh, succeed. Okay. Oh, I need to go back. Okay, uh, there's one more slide, but uh, let's see if I can catch it here. Okay, this is the last slide. Uh, I just want to leave you with an adage here. He who fails to prepare is preparing for failure. So prepare, prepare, prepare. Remember that's seventy-five percent of what you uh, of success. Okay. Now uh, we talked about breathing techniques, and I'd like to give you several breathing techniques that will help you to relax and also help you to use your voice correctly. Okay. Now. Uh, I took a course, I remember uh, when I was a university student, I was not a good presenter. To be honest with you, I, I, no one told me how to present, I never learned how to present, never took a course like this, and whenever I presented, uh, I, didn't, I don't think I did very well, and then one day I recorded myself, and I was like, whoa, I'm, I'm a bad presenter. And uh, as, a re as a result, I went to the library, and I took out uh, many books on presentation skills and public speaking skills, and I watched a lot of videos, and I took some courses as well. And there's this one course, I paid $300 for one day, and, uh, and all we did for one hour was, uh, well, it was actually two hours, but for the first hour, all we did was this one breathing technique for one hour. And I was thinking, I'm paying $300 for this? And there was like 60 people in the room, and I'm thinking, this guy's gonna make a lot of money through this. Okay? So uh, I wanna teach you this technique. It, I, I, feel, uh, I feel it was worth $300, even though I could have probably learned this all by myself. I could, I could have watched a video or what have you and saved $300. But this technique is very, very effective, okay? What it does is it teaches you how to breathe when you're speaking, okay? And it's the same thing when you're singing. Okay? You probably uh, heard how to breathe when you sing from your, 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 uh, when you're singing or your choir instructor, okay? So uh, I wanna teach you how to breathe properly and this will help you to relax as well, okay? So uh, when you breathe in, let me ask a question. Should your stomach go out or should it go in? When you breathe in, should your stomach go out or in? Okay, it should go out, okay? If it goes in, then you're flexing your muscles, okay? So if I breathe in and my, my stomach goes in, Basically, it's going to my chest. I'm like, okay. Do I look relaxed? No, okay? So to make yourself relax, you breathe in, and the air goes into your stomach, and your stomach goes out. Okay, so everyone, why don't you just touch your stomach right now, okay? And let your stomach go out as you breathe in, okay? So everyone try breathing in, breathe in. Okay, and as you breathe out, push your stomach out, and then breathe out, breathe out. 
So you breathe in, and then breathe out. Okay, inhale, and then exhale. Okay, breathe in. Okay, close your eyes, exhale. Okay, relax the shoulders, breathe in, breathe out. Relax the shoulders, breathe in, breathe out. Relax all your muscles, breathe out. Okay, uh, stay in your position for a second, okay? Uh, this is what he taught us as well, this, uh, the guy that I paid $300. Uh, he, uh, he told us to use our voice with this breath, okay? So as we breathe out, he gave us an exercise. He said to, to say, how are you? Okay, and we use all our air to do this, okay? So basically, I'll try one time and then you guys can uh, repeat after me, okay? Breathe in. And then he said, how are you? We did that for one hour, by the way, okay? Uh, so let's try it one time. We're not gonna do it for one hour, by the way, okay? We're, we're just gonna do it for a few minutes, just so you can understand, okay? Breathe in. 